back to another vlog. Today we are, where are you going? Where are we going, buddy? Going to New York. New York. We are headed to our spring break trip. The girls already know that they're gonna be without us, especially Zini. Zini's known since like yesterday. She's like seen us like moving around and getting things together and we'll see how they do. Bye, Zini. Sit. 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 Thank you. Y'all be good girls for your Uncle Max, okay? All right, you listen to him, all right? Don't bark so much. We just got us some lunch. So we're having you in. You excited? So we've actually already been to New York in high school when we went with the band. But somebody over here, you wanna tell them? All I'm saying is that's where the curse uh, I don't know what's the word. Broken. Broken. <laughs> and hopefully, on this trip, the curve won't be redone. So if we return back and we're like not together anymore. Oh my gosh. It didn't go well in, in New York. So for backstory, he's making it sound like some huge thing. He used to hate me in high school. Like he hated me, could not stand me. Um. And on this New York trip that we took, we were in the same group. And how did you feel about that? She was great with my friends for some reason. No. She couldn't find her own friends. <laughs> so we had the like mutual friends, but he hated me because I was nice to everyone. Stupid reason. You can't be nice to everyone because people take advantage of you. But that's why he hated me because I was nice. And on this trip, he was forced to like talk to me and like hang out with me and he realized oh she's not that bad of a person we became friends and after that I would always joke with like oh you're gonna fall in love with me and we're gonna get married one day I'm good baby so that being said hopefully the curse has been undone in New York you're just gonna fall even more in love with me We were supposed to board in group B, but we got delayed and we're at the end of group C. So hopefully. Literally <laughs> the last one. Literally. So hopefully we find seats together. If not, well, hopefully no one hits on my husband. <laughs> to our hotel it is tiny literally this is the entire room <laughs> uh, not much of a view but i mean we mainly just wanted to sleep and relax so it'll be fine bed Area for me to get ready. Let's see the shower. Shower? Is there not like a full length mirror anywhere? For my, no. No. Wait. I asked you if you wanted a view and you said no. We have a view, but she's not a good one. You know what I mean? Like an actual view. <laughs> I don't even, I don't care. It's like she was asking me about. We got a gym here, it's open 24 seven. You gotta come down here and get a pass fire. Is that something you're interested in? No, I ain't here to work out. And I ain't here to just look out the staying window. Well, that's what I'm saying. Four like, days. I'm no. looking right now to see what, what was going on out here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired, y'all. The, that was the worst <laughs> flight ever. Oh my gosh. That was not the worst flight ever. That we've been on, yeah. But this is Nino Chiquito, yeah. You're gonna break something. I was gonna serenade the people down there. I bet you they never heard Grupo Firme up here. Oh my gosh. I don't think they wanna hear. Oh. 
Thoughts on the flight? Oh. <laughs> Yo, my back hurts so bad. First of all, you got there late. They have fit together. Had to check our baggage. Which was stupid because literally there was room in the overhead. People just don't know how to... I'm sorry, venting. But people literally just don't know how to fix their stuff. Our baggage easily could fit. Like, people were putting their freaking jackets up there. Like, if you're going to take a jacket, keep it on your body. Like, keep it on your person. Those don't go in the overhead bin. But, whatever. And then the takeoff was awful. Rough. Oh, my gosh. I was about to freaking have a panic attack. It was intense yeah once we were up there i mean it was fine yeah the landing wasn't bad but the the takeoff was yeah getting into off. new york there was a little bit more turbulence but the landing was pretty smooth so i'll give it that what are we gonna do right now dinner Sleep. i slept two hours today i was literally <laughs> in a i was in a cop car 13 hours ago Cool. Doing cop crap. <laughs> Slept two hours. <laughs> now here we are. Yep. But we gotta find someone for dinner. So we're gonna go eat and we're at rest. And then tomorrow we've got a full busy day ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> headed to breakfast place um got a busy day to head you want to say anything uh no <laughs> hungry <laughs> left the 9-11 museum we'll just decompress about that later at the hotel because right now david is trying to figure out how to use the subway yeah first i have to figure out how to use this app make sure we don't get lost and then i think we have to, well i know we have to get a car somewhere well i can just pay with my phone at the subway yeah sure yeah it gave me an alert on my phone like with apple pay I thought we needed a metro car or something. I'll double check. But fingers crossed we don't get lost and we may get to our next museum stop. So we'll see you on the subway. Why are we so into museums, Jessica's?
stop two of day one. I am tired. Yeah, my, I need to on this shit. my feet just hurt. Ugh. And I'm hungry. Yeah, that I am. Try to find a stop. Yeah, there's some up there. We gotta walk to get to it. You can't tell what's sitting right now. Tell them my pain. Because I'm tired, my feet hurt. I'm actually out of breath. We walked like 15 minutes just to get here. <sighs> she need a little break. I want to keep going. So here we go. How is it? Is it comfy? It ain't too bad, honestly. Okay. Good night. But then when the boat rocks? Yeah. yeah. It ain't too bad. <laughs> We don't have an umbrella. Gosh, my feet hurt so bad. Just got back from Broadway. Um, my feet are like hurt so bad. I'm exhausted. Um, turn this down. I'm pretty sure I have a blister on like my toe, like the bottom of my toe, because I wore these boots, which I thought were gonna be fine, but I think the socks I wore were too thin, and it just hurts. And on our way to Broadway. I'm pretty sure I rolled my ankle because we were walking, crossing the street. I stepped and my foot, like my right foot landed correctly like this. And my left foot goes, and now it hurts. So, got me some ice to ice my ankle just in case. Hopefully it feels better in the morning. <sighs> you need to come to bed? Yeah, once you get out of my car. 
it was this outer part that it rolled on so putting some ice hoping it helps best part of the day mm. i really like the 9 11 museum it was it was it was very like not sad yeah like very like or overwhelming like oh yeah like overwhelming like like the stories and, like very somber feeling yeah. like I feel like a lot of the times you think of like 9-11 and you just think of like the plane hitting the Twin Towers. But it's like way more than that. Mm -hmm. Like it's not only like those who died in the plane to hit the tower and those who died in the tower. But like everyone like around the area and then the Pentagon and then the other that was at the third plane. Yeah. The one in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Like it was just crazy. And then yeah. like hearing. I think what got me was like hearing voicemails left. Like people who were in the tower that left voicemails to their loved ones. That, and then the clips of the the people that they showed that were standing on ground level as the plane hit, like their oh, expression, yeah. their facial expression. Yeah, yeah, it was just crazy, and like actually like seeing, like obviously they show you like on like documentaries and like shows like the artifacts and like stuff that like happened, but like seeing it in person and how like how much damage, yeah. like. It's like, it crazy. was just a lot, a lot. It was. It was. Yeah. At the end, we rushed it because we had to make it to the intrepid. Yeah. Um, but but I, I feel mean, like we, the parts that we took so, our time on yeah. were the like important, like were the good yeah. important parts. And then the doggles. Oh my gosh. The what? The dogs. Oh yeah. Thank you for the tacos. The doggos. No, I think in that part there, what got me because they had like a section of like all the canines that like helped in like search and rescue and stuff. They, I mean, obviously, like, dogs are, like, amazing or whatever. But what got me was there is this tag from a service dog who helped their, like, their... Their handler. Their person. Their handler. Oh, no, it wasn't no, the handler. No, it wasn't. No, no, no. no like, their person, like, like, their person. He was a seeing, yeah. like, a seeing service dog. And his person was blind. Oh, the handler. Yes, I thought you... Okay, yeah. Yeah, you call him their handler. Oh. Yeah. Well, whatever. But the guy was blind and the dog like helped him get out and he was like on like the 70th, 70th mm -hmm. floor or something like that. It was it crazy. Firefighters passed him and told him or asked him if he wanted the firefighters to help and he said, no, I've got my dog I've, and basically just trusted the dog. And the yeah. Dog and out. yeah, that was crazy to me. But the other one that I thought you were saying was the, um, the one where the dog found the victim the next day in the rubble oh yeah the last surviving victim yeah yeah that one too and then after that we went to we finally figured out the subway after like what 15 minutes just trying to figure it, it out it was forever we oh my gosh and then, well first we couldn't figure it out and then we got lost and then we figured it out yeah it took like 30 minutes yeah it took us a while like we almost gave up and got an uber but yeah. we figured it out and we got to the Intrepid, and the Intrepid itself was, was like the sh the ship part. It was okay, but I think because we've oh, already been on a ship. Only because we some, saw something similar. Yeah. The Intrepid. What I liked was the uh, submarine. The submarine, and honestly, the spaceship. Yeah, the that, space shuttle. That was kind of cool too. Yeah, seeing it, it was huge. How huge it was, but the the submarine was really, really tight. It was so tight. Oh my gosh, I don't know how people. Well, yeah, people, they still use submarines. Hmm? I'm sure they're not that compact anymore. I mean, I would think. I don't know, Unless but it was, like, it was tight. Never mind. But yeah, it was. And then after that, we went to Phantom, which was really good. We've already yeah. seen the Phantom. The last time we I came. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Phantom really often. Yeah. We've seen it more than once. More On than Broad, twice. Well, no, like actual, like play we've only seen it once one what other we time the second part the secret the, um, the love never dies yeah. but it was still really good oh yeah yeah, yeah like you absolutely. can never go wrong with watching the fandom more than once right. so after our first day are you still in love with me so far <laughs> i guess today was the real test oh wait never mind we're not gonna know <laughs> we're not gonna know no we'll just say if you know if you, you know, know. You know. <laughs> And if you don't know, then you don't we, need to know. If you don't know, don't worry about it. 
but tomorrow it's more of a chill day we don't have like a specific timeline to stick by um we're going to the statue of liberty and ellis island which i'm excited about both and then brooklyn bridge and chinatown um so way more chill hoping my ankle does feel a lot better um well, i'm yeah. going by myself no you're not well then your ankle better feel better you're just gonna have but to walk my staying in the hotel no we're not like we're we not. did in san francisco that day we still got stuff done though we did we stayed in later but we still got stuff done we did so yeah we'll see y'all in the morning good night <laughs> So here we are in Battery Park. We just came from eating breakfast over at George's. How was the breakfast? Delicious. It was good. It was a lot, but it was good. It was very filling. And we walked our way over here to Battery Park knowing it was going to be 50 degrees. And uh, yeah, it's, it's cold. As you can see, Patty got some <laughs> XL Beats by Dre on. They're so and, warm. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a cold day today. Very cold. So we'll see how it is on the island. It's probably gonna be a lot windier. A lot colder with the water around us and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be alright. Alright, well, see you then. Nearly a century earlier, France had been a crucial ally in America's war for independence. A war for the cast of the statue's individual parts. They build 300 wooden forms that follow every contour of the plaster models, then use the forms to hammer sheets and the deep ironies of our history. Broken shackles at her feet, but the legacy of slavery still very real in 1886 as the statue is dedicated. Visiting my girl Liberty over here. Do you need it? <laughs> you can barely even see her. Cold, that's she wearing this mask. Yeah, don't get me started, but it's helping cover the wind. It's keeping me warm. They're trying to do a stunt. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. They're trying to do a stunt. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah, that's it, yeah. Oh, good. Show him, Patty, show him how I walk. And you barely want to move. They gotta get their make their way around somehow.
Okay. Welcome. The United States is often called a nation of immigrants. We are with the first people. Which of the following states borders Mexico? One, Nevada. Two, Alabama. Arizona. Three, Arizona. Next question. What does the president's oh cabinet do? One, makes appointments for the president. Two, stores the executive kitchen's non-perishable food. It's three. three, advises the president. Three. Four, a United States citizen. One, to not petition the government. Two, to not speak badly of America. Three, to pledge daily allegiance to the U.S. flag. Four. Four, to give up loyalty to other countries. Next question. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. I don't even know who that is. What war was he in? One, World War One. Two, Vietnam War. Three, Cold War. Four, if? World War Two. When in doubt, feel your way out. So three? No, the Cold War? <laughs> <laughs> two? I don't know. I'd say two. Next, Vermont. Two, New Hampshire. Three, Oregon. Four, Maine. Maine, because that's in the corner. Yeah. Congratulations. You have six correct answers. Congratulations. We barely you passed the citizenship test. How do we only get the United six? States is a democratic nation that depends on its citizens. That all all I blame that on the Texas education system. Mm -mm. Goddess are hot dog. Hot dog, not a dollar hot dog. I said seven dollars. I'm like, God, not each, but like total. But anyway, hopefully they're good. Go ahead. I'll let you know. Anything special? Yeah. Is good. That hot sauce he put on there makes it. That one stopped working. Yeah. No, we, we're currently going towards the Brooklyn Bridge, so we'll show you the view in a second. See you there. to vlog here what were you saying that today's been the what very long day very it feels like it's been two days in one day honestly like i, I think it's because like we really only did one thing today we did well no we did a lot, a lot. but like big thing i mean we went to statue of liberty ellis island, ellis island. Brooklyn Chinatown, Bridge, Chinatown, Times Square. Times Square. 
Oh, excuse me. We, we did a lot, and we got done pretty early. Honestly, we were here by the, to the back of the hotel. It was like seven thirty. Seven thirty, good yeah. chilling since, but but it's helped because my feet hurt so yeah. bad. Oh my gosh, I have blisters on my toes, but it's the shoes. I know yeah. it's the shoes. Um, my ankle's feeling better. That's good. It started hurting towards like the later part when we were headed to Chinatown. It started hurting, but resting for sure helped. Yeah. And tomorrow is tomorrow we got another another oh, long day. No. Yeah. Long it's long but I don't we'll I don't at, think it's busy. No. But tomorrow we have planned Central Park, Top of the Rock for viewing, a couple of places to eat. Um we'll be at Jimmy Fallon so I know. On, the, on the warping time. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Same. Maybe so we'll come. Y'all stay tuned. Maybe we'll be on TV. Famous. Ah. <laughs> Favorite part of the day? What do we do today? I already forgot. Oh my god. <laughs> we just recapped. Um, Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, Brooklyn Bridge, Chinatown. Times Square. I don't know. I, can't, I don't know. I mean, everything was kind of cool. Um, I don't know. Times Square, maybe? Or Brooklyn Bridge? Maybe the Brooklyn Bridge, I would say. Yeah, I'd say the Brooklyn Bridge. It was really pretty. Yeah, the was, view was, was really cool. pretty. It was, uh, it was big. I didn't realize how yeah. huge it was. We only really walked like not even a quarter of it. We didn't walk the whole way across because we wanted right. to go to Chinatown. Right. Which is fine. Chinatown wasn't what I thought it'd be. Um, Just because it's, it's so big. Yeah, compared to San Francisco, it's it's huge yeah i feel like the one in san francisco like everything was like right like there. you found everything you needed within like the first two or three streets right. versus here you're walking blocks and blocks and blocks and it's like yo how like it's huge yeah, it was, everything's just so like scattered it was cool it, it's nice but it wasn't what i thought it'd be I, I like chinatown in san francisco better yeah the food was good so good um what, do you, what was your favorite part i don't know I really like the Statue of Liberty. Mm -hmm. Just like learning, I think I'm, I think that's my favorite part. Just learning like how they made it and like they literally started with a mold that was like what, like a foot big, probably. Uh, quarter. It was a quarter of the, the, the actual, actual size. size. Yeah. So it was probably like two or three feet wide, and then they slowly like enlarged it, and enlarged it, and every time they enlarged it, they like redid all the details and everything, and just like all the work and planning and engineering like everything like that and then they like hand did everything like, i think just learning about it and then seeing it and like how huge it actually is yeah it's like it's it's huge it, gigantic yeah, it's like huge. it's like, there I is can't, i can't ex i can't explain how big it is it's just like it's huge like you see it in pictures and yeah it looks big and even on the boat driving by it yeah, it looks big, but then but you go to this standing, museum. Yes. You go to this museum and you see like the the size of the molds of the foot Her, mm -hmm. or the nose or the ear. Yeah, it's yeah. it's oh, wild. It's You'll see in the video, but like it's freaking yeah, right. crazy. Like it's it makes you feel like a speck of dirt. Yeah. Like you'd be like a little bitty ant climbing on her. Like it'd be wild, crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like it just put more into perspective. Like the whole like immigration thing you know what i mean yeah sure but if i'm being honest for you watching if you ever come to new york city and you get the you buy tickets it's kind of a two-in-one thing so if yeah. you go to the liberty the statue of, of liberty liberty island whatever the ellis island is included just skip ellis island well no it's boring it, it, it ain't i all think that. it's too much reading not it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of reading. It's, oh, yeah. It's it, a lot of reading. Personally, I thought it was boring and it sucked, but we only but, went, wanted to go. So. But they do have a hospital tour that you can do. But it wasn't open today. Yeah, people were doing the tour. Really? Yeah, but it's like a separate cost, and that's that's where they get you because that one's expensive. I think it's like forty dollars per person. But it's like a hard hat tour because they're like currently um working to like reconstruct it. I feel like that would have been cool because it hasn't been touched in like since it closed basically well i thought it was closed that's why i didn't even 
No. Ask and I'm pretty sure it's haunted. I would have been down. Because it's the hospital and the morgue. Like that. Ooh, it's got to be haunted. Yeah, it, it has to be. But I feel like people who like have like European ancestors who they know first came to Ellis Island when like they immigrated here. I feel like those like you, those people would relate more to it than like us. Because like we know where our family comes from, like they're from Mexico. You know what I mean? Yeah, they versus, probably didn't come through Ellis Island. Yeah, versus for example, like Sam. But I feel like people like her who know their family comes from like European ancestry would find it more like learning more about their family, that kind of stuff, more useful. But all right, so we're gonna wrap it up because uh, we're going on. Seven minutes. As you can see, I don't have my glasses on. I'm rambling. And, uh, yeah, rambling. Tomorrow we have a long day. We uh, will bring you along with us and let you know how it goes. Day two? Tomorrow's day three. Yes. Day two. Good night. Well, we made it to Central Park. Except sort of. <laughs> it's cold and rainy. And we have one umbrella. And it's tiny. We're both halfway getting wet, so we're going to Target to get another umbrella ah! and some gloves because it's cold. Yeah, I forgot what it was too. Sorry. Yeah, there's more. Like the very, very top? Yeah. Yeah, because right here all the shit is Comfortable?
store for you. We are going to head to the studio. Now, once we head to the studio, we do have an absolutely no cell phone policy. So now is the best time to power your phones completely down. We will all disconnect and enjoy the show together. David said we couldn't go to Grand Central Station because it was late. <laughs> That's a lie. He doesn't you like me. You said you didn't want to go. First, he makes it rain and snow. Oh, my God. And we have to scratch Central Park. And then I'm like, okay, well, we still can do Rockefeller. And he was like, well, I told this guy to be cloudy. Terrible view. And I was like, well, I still get my Grand Central Station. And then after pizza, he is like, nope, too late. We gotta go. Leave it to Patty to plan everything that was outside <laughs> for snowy rain days and everything that Literally, was inside for the for good weather. Today day. was the worst. Like today was supposed to be like my day type thing. Terrible weather. So cold, rain, snow. snow. <laughs> it was miserable. Miserable to be outside. Like we still went to the top of the rock because we already had the reservations. We couldn't see anything. You couldn't see nothing. Like. And the very, very top floor closed because of the weather. So it was like, honestly, pointless for us to go. Like, couldn't I mean, see nothing. We got good pictures in the little lobby. Yeah? I mean, I mean that's about it. Yeah, but. View wise, no, yeah. we didn't see it. But Jimmy Fallon was really cool. Yes. It was really fun. So yes. I'll be on TV. Are you? Are you going to be on TV? No, I'm going to have bad luck. <laughs> The only reason I like I saw myself was because they like did an audience thing and the guy that they picked was like in like our section and I went Bloop, you can see me and David where were you babe right behind him this was the guy this was David <laughs> yeah so whenever you're watching I'm there you just can't, can't see, see him <laughs> just know he's sitting next to me yes. so well, you can see you can see Patty at least but it's all right I don't need people knowing who I am and what I look like because if you know, you know. So that's that. Yeah, so we're back at the hotel. We didn't go to Grand Central just because I was tired. So I was like, no, it's okay. Like, it's fine. Not that big of a deal. Um, we're going to try maybe to stay up and try to see Jimmy Fallon, but it's not on until what, 1130? 1030, I think. 1130. 1030. No, it might be 1130. Because, yeah, it's 1030 yeah, over in Texas. So we probably won't. Yeah, so if it's too gets too late, we'll just like watch, watch the rerun yeah. later. Um, so yeah, because we gotta wake up early to catch our flight, for On sure. Time. Yes, because we're in the first boarding group, which is like ideal so that we can fit find our perfect spot and sit together. So yeah, <sighs> ready to go home. Ready. We are finally back in Texas, headed to the car to get home to our girls. Finally. Yes. So flights weren't long, it's just that we had two flights. That was, that's what made it too long. Yeah, we had a layover in Chicago for, what, two hours? So, yeah. But that is it for this vlog. Thanks for following us on another adventure. We will see you in the next one. Adios.